Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. I have a brand new Best Techman knife. Oh, you know what I like. Check it out, so shiny. And we're not even looking at the knife. This is a brand new release that just came out and we're gonna get it out and I'm gonna share it with all of you. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh yeah, this is the red and white version. I completely forgot. I'm looking forward to this. This is a budget knife from Best Techman and I'll find where it is listed and I'll put a link down there so you can go check it out yourself. There's eight different variants of this bad boy, just so you know. So if you don't like this colorway, there's every color under the rainbow that you could imagine. So this is the Best Techman cicada's wing. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its cicada's wingness. Okay, so right off the bat, um, this is G10. It doesn't have a whole lot of texture. I don't know if I'll be able to get you in there and get you much texture vision or not because it's white and it's all whited out, but it's rather smooth to the touch. And this is telling me that we have a reversible deep carry clip. It is a deep carry clip. However, you know what? One improvement that could be made is if we had flat screws. That would give us more room and you wouldn't get snaggage. Now, on the other hand, I am glad that they have it recessed into the G10 liners that at least keeps us away from that snaggage that you get from the edge right there that's usually sitting on top of liners. So that's one good thing. The only thing that would have made that better were some flat screws. That would have been fantastic. Check it out. And this is a crossbar lock. I think best Techman calls this the B lock, but it's a crossbar lock nonetheless. And then let's see if I can get you in here. Look at that. There you go. There is your captive pivot, which is very nice, very very nice. And this pocket clip, oh, they, they put a they put a little uh, put a little deal on here. I think that might be part of their logo that they've got going on. And it has a nice springiness to it. And here is something that I do appreciate. You see the bill of the of the clip. It isn't pointing up, so that's not going to be jabbing us in the hand. So that's going to help with the or ergos, the ergers. You know, you got to have good ergers. You know what I'm sharing? So this clip goes out and it runs parallel with the knife. And as long as you have enough room with a parallel clip, then that's always a good thing to not have that sharp and scratching up your car and everything else. Wow, and this, oh my goodness, this is incredibly lightweight. Before I go any farther, we gotta get this blade out. Are you ready? Pow, right in the kisser. Check it out. Wow, that is very red. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is very red. And I do think it's neat that when companies come out with new knives, that they don't just come out with the typical black with the satin. They have all kinds of different options. I would imagine there's probably a stone wash in this version and probably a satin, and there's probably a blacked out, and I'm probably flashing some across the screen at this very moment, as best I can tell. And let's see, the blade steel is 10 CR15 MOV, so it has a good blade steel. Now let's see how it feels left and right. Okay, we're solid, up and down. Okay, if 10 meant that the blade was completely loose and one means I can feel something, um, up and down, it's a one. I can feel movement, which is a common thing with crossbar locks. It's not bad, it's just enough where like if I'm nitpicking, I can tell there's the slightest bit of movement. Now let's check out this jimping. There is jimping, however, you can't really feel it or it's not really grabby because it does have that red coating on there. However, you can feel this jimping down here just a little bit. And we'll check out the ergos and all that in just a momento. Now this bad boy from tip to tip is 7.2 inches long, 183 millimeters. Closed, it's 4.05 inches, 103 millimeters. Your blade is 3.2 inches long, 80 millimeters. And it has ceramic ball bearings, you have the captive pivot, you have the crossbar lock, a reversible deep carry clip, a lanyard hole. So these are all major plus things. I don't remember how much these cost, but if I had to guess, they're, I, I don't know, well, I don't wanna guess. <laughs> but I would guess these are probably in the 40s or 40s, maybe 50s, but I would guess somewhere in that territory, it's more of a budget oriented knife but man, I'm liking this blade shape. It's a tall, flat grind. We'll get into that here in just a second. Let me do a couple quick size comparisons while we have it on the table. Here's the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock and then the QSP Penguin, because everybody should have a penguin, right? If not only for the size comparisons. So let's see, it looks like we're right there in the medium sized category. I always call these medium sized knives. They're good everyday carry folding pocket knives. They're good size for, you know, just throwing in your pocket every day. Here is the CJRB Pyrite. And then here's a very popular knife that I've been using as a size comparison knife lately. This is the Vosteed Raccoon, a little bit 
longer, a little bit more handle on that bad boy, but we'll check out the ergos right now. And for all you newbies to bees blades, my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Oh my gosh, this thing is, su I'm gonna weigh this. I gotta weigh this. You, I, <laughs> inquiring minds wanna know. You, I, I have to tell you, this thing is incredibly, ooh. Okay, that was cool. This thing is so lightweight. It's coming in at 2.1 ounces. Are you are you hearing the words that are coming out of my mouth? This is a two ounce knife. Oh my goodness. And oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little more excited about this knife, especially with, this is one of those ones you could carry around, like if you're wearing sweats or wearing some light khakis or something like that, you're not gonna feel it in your pocket. And if I realize you might not like the red and white colorway, but you might, and I wanna know, tell me in the comments, which one of these is your favorite color? You never know when I might give one away, right? But the Ergos are good. I have no complaints with the Ergos. It, so it fits a large width hand. I'm giving it the B squeeze. This is gonna be a nice everyday carry knife. Push, pulling in right here, I can get it to move just a little bit, barely. And that's with me, I'm putting a lot of pressure on it. So I have no complaints with the fact that there's no, no standoffs out here. You have a standoff right here. Um, my goodness, this is pretty nice. I like it. And taking a look at this blade, nice tall flat grind. It has a decent edge on it, factory edge. Factory edges are factory edges. No edge is as good as the one that you put on it, right? Once you, once you get uh, down track, down pat, once you get it down pat, but nice edge on it. We do have a large area, plenty of room for sharpening. So it has good ergonomics. It has a very neutral type handle. It feels good in the hand. So if you have small, medium, large hands, this, uh, this is gonna work. Wow, I like it. Now let's check out the action on this thing. So using that crossbar lock is, wow, it, it's very easy. And I love crossbar locks. They're easy to get in and out of the pocket. This is in your right pocket, your right hand pocket. You pull it out, you cut what you're gonna cut and you put it back in your pocket. And the, the action on this thing, phenomenal. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's, it's that good. And it has a nice sound to it. Using the thumb stud, I appreciate the thumb stud because it's not one of the thick type, or the, it's not the slick type of thumb stud. It has a little bit of grip, a little bit of grippage on the edge that grabs your skin, which is a good thing. So I'm not gonna slip off of it. Look at this, I mean, oh yeah, okay. So if you want a lightweight everyday carry knife, this one is impressive. And I like how much blade you get. The hand blade to handle ratio is right on. This is an attractive knife. Not even thinking about the colorway, it's an attractive knife any way you look at it. How, man, it's just the only, the only thing is I do get movement up and down. So if that's a concern, it's actually almost enough where you can see it, but not quite. But then again, that is a common thing with crossbar locks. And I don't know that that, if you look inside here, you can see that it has 100% lockup and trying to fail it, it's not doing anything. I'm just feeling that little bit of movement from the crossbar lock. So I don't have any complaints with that. This is, this is a great knife. This is one of those good gift knives. If you have somebody that isn't used to knives and you know what, Mrs. B's, my wife, she has come to love crossbar locks. She really does like the crossbar. And by the way, every Friday night, Bees Blades live at the hive. Oh, right. We talk about knives just like this. Do some more size comparisons. That's when we interact. If there's things that I didn't answer or things you want to know about this knife, for one, I'll put links down in the description and in the comment section, wherever you can find this, I'll look it up and I'll put the links down there. And besides that, the live streams on Friday night, 8.15 Eastern Standard Time to around midnight or so, we do a live stream. We give knives just like this away. We give premium knives away. That's part of the fun. We do pizza check. We talk about cheese. We love cheese. <laughs> the dog is a part of the, the live stream. My wife is a part of the live stream. We have hundreds of people come by every Friday. And it's just, you know, it's kind of like cheers where everybody knows your name. So come check us out. Let me know what you think about this. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my content and go watch this video. You'll really enjoy that. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or at the hive stream, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.